Hello everyone and welcome back to this new tutorial. In our uh, previous tutorial, we had installed the MQTT broker on our Windows operating system and we had enabled it to accept requests from any Wi-Fi device available on our Wi-Fi network. So in this tutorial, we will try to publish some data on the MQTT topics using our ESP32 module. So if you remember, in our previous tutorial, we had installed this MQTT broker, which is from Mosquito MQTT broker. And we had enabled it as a service on our computer, so it can start automatically when the computer reboots. And we had made some changes to this uh, mosquito.configuration file. And we had made some changes in the Windows firewall to allow the request on the uh, 1883 port of MQTT. So today I am going to use this uh, ESP32 board, which is uh, a custom board developed by me. But if you are using any other ESP32 board that you have, you can use it in the similar way. Everything will be same. For now, this board is based on the ESP32 S3 module. So let's get started. So let's jump to the Arduino IDE. So here is my sample code. On the top, I'm including some libraries like Wi-Fi.h and the pubsub client.h. So this is for connecting to the Wi-Fi network and this is to uh, connect to the MQTT broker and publish some data on the MQTT topic. Next, here we have some uh, constant character variables to store our Wi-Fi SSID and Wi-Fi password. So you can replace these with your Wi-Fi SSID or Wi-Fi name and the Wi-Fi password. Next, we have the uh, constant character to store our uh, MQTT server IP address. So this IP address is the IP address of the computer where you have installed MQTT. And next, we have the MQTT port, which is 1883 that we had set up in the config file of the MQTT broker. To get the IP address of your computer, what you can do is you can go to your uh, command prompt and here you can type IP config and press enter. And here it will give you the IPv4 address of your computer. So this will be your IP address of your MQTT broker or MQTT server as well. So on the next line, we have defined the Wi-Fi client from the Wi-Fi client. So this we will use to connect to our internet. On the next line, we have the MQTT client that we are creating from the Wi-Fi client. After that, we have a function definition which will allow us to connect to the Wi-Fi. So it is uh, its type is void because it is not returning anything. So the connect Wi-Fi function. So here we will print like connecting to Wi-Fi. Then we will start the Wi-Fi connection with the SSID and password. And then we have a while loop which will run until we get connected to Wi-Fi. And on the serial monitor, it will print this uh, dot until we connect to the Wi-Fi network after the delay of every 500 milliseconds. Once the Wi-Fi is connected, it will print the Wi-Fi connected message on the serial monitor and it will print the IP address of the ESP32 client that gets allocated by our Wi-Fi router. Next, we have the function to reconnect to MQTT in case it gets uh, the connection gets broken. So we have a while loop in which uh, we run this while loop unless uh, we get uh, connected to the MQTT client. In the while loop, it will print the message connecting to MQTT client. Then uh, it will try to connect to the MQTT client with the ID ESP32 S3 client. And once the MQTT connection is established, it will print like connected to MQTT broker. Otherwise, it will keep printing like uh, fail, failed with the state, like the it will print the state of the connection. So it will help you to debug. Then it will print like retrying in every five seconds and it will wait for 500 milliseconds or five seconds. And it will run this loop again and again, unless we got the connection with the MQTT broker. Next, we have a function which uh, I have defined to blink the LED every time we publish something on our MQTT topic. So it's simple. It will turn on the LED on the pin number 13. It will wait for 200 milliseconds and it will off the LED. Next, we have the setup function. So in setup, what we do, we start the serial communication. Then we have a delay of 100 milliseconds for some stability. Then we define the pin number 13 as output. 
Then we start the Wi-Fi connection using the connect to Wi-Fi function and we start the MQTT uh, client connection with the MQTT server IP address and MQTT port. Now here we are not giving any uh, password because we have set MQTT broker to allow anonymous connections. Next we have the loop in which uh, we check if the MQTT client is still connected. If not, we will run the reconnect to MQTT function. Next, we run the MQTT dot loop, which keeps our client alive, the connection alive. Then we define a, a static unsigned long to record the time at which we publish the last message. Next, we have another variable unsigned long to store the current time, which we get in millis using the millis function. Next, we have the if condition. So here, if the current time minus the last published time is greater than or equal to 1000 millisecond, then only we enter in the loop. Basically, we are using this to avoid the delay because if the programming running for a long time, delay causes some issues. Once we enter in the loop, we store the current time in the last published time variable. Then we define a string here for the outgoing message. Then on the serial monitor, we print like publishing to topic. So we are going to publish to the topic my message. Then we will print the outgoing message string on this serial monitor. So finally, we publish to the MQTT client using the publish uh, function. So the first argument is your uh, topic name as a string. Then the outgoing message. So here the outgoing message should be in the form of characters, the character array. So we use the function dot c string uh, dot underscore str to convert our string to the character array. And then the function will publish the message on this my message topic. And we call the blink LED function to blink the LED every time we publish to this topic. So let's upload this code. First of all, we will go to tools. We will select the board as the uh, ESP32 S3 dev model. So you can select the board according to your ESP32 board model. And again, uh, then we will select the port at which our ESP32 board is connected. So for now, it is COM6. And one another thing you need to change is if your board have the onboard LED, uh, which is not on pin number 13, you can change the pin number. For me, it is on pin number 13, so I will keep it as it is. And now I will click on upload button. So it will compile and upload the code. So you can see the code is now completely uploaded and the green LED on my board is got started blinking. This means the connection to the Wi-Fi device is uh, successful and the connection to the MQTT client is also successful and it is publishing to the MQTT topic. So let's launch the serial monitor to see what is happening. So here you can see the board got reset after launching the serial monitor. And here you can see the device is connected to Wi-Fi. It has printed its IP address and it is publishing to the topic my message, the message which is hello world. So to check if uh, this message is getting received by our MQTT broker, launch command prompt. And here type the command mosquito underscore sub to subscribe to the topic space dash h space localhost localhost because uh, we are running the MQTT broker on the same computer. If your MQTT broker is running on separate computer, you can write its IP address. Then press dash T space the topic name, which is my message space dash Q space one to specify the quality of service and press enter. So let me clear the output on my serial monitor. And here you can see Whenever the topic, uh, the message is getting published on the MQTT topic by ESP32, it is getting received on the uh, subscriber terminal in the Windows operating system. 
and at the same time the LED on the board is blinking. So this is how you can publish some uh, messages on the MQTT topics using the ESP32 connected to the Wi-Fi. So we will use this in our future projects. Thank you so much for watching my videos and please hit the like button if this video helps to you and please subscribe to my channel if you are liking my video content. Thank you so much.